Hey folks, Breakaway Homesteader here. Uh, this is just a little rant and a word of advice on a couple of things that may come up in your life. Um, so my son's been sick. Uh, he, he's got foot, hand, hand, foot and mouth disease, which is a virus you pick up uh, uh, pretty much in daycare or pretty much anywhere you can get it. Uh, and it causes uh, basically what looks like chicken pox, but it's not scratchable. Either way, my son threw up a lot he got dehydrated went into a fever and we ended up taking him to the hospital for a couple of days to get hydrated and to the point to where he can eat and drink on his own uh, so today I went back for a follow-up uh, with his pediatrician and the administrative lady at the front desk says hey we'd like you to fill out this form and I was like well I think I filled out this form already when we first got here she's like it's a form that we make all of our uh, patients parents uh, fill out uh, uh, on a six month basis to make sure that we have all the most updated information on you guys. The like, cool, no problem. I took the form in. Basic questions are you allergic to anything? Blah, 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 blah about my son. And uh, the question pops up Do you own or have any guns in your household? And so I don't like this question. question. I think it's intrusive. Uh, uh, but again, it's it's normal so what I do is I always just I line that out and I filled out the rest of the information that was uh, pertinent to my son's health and turned it back in and the admin lady called up she says uh, Patrick could you please come up front please I was like sure no problem she's like I noticed that you scratched out this question she's like why didn't you answer the question I was like I, I said because uh, it's it's not your business on whether or not I have guns, or there's guns in my households, or anything like that. And I said, can I ask you a question? I said, why do you even ask the question? And she could not come up with an answer. Uh, she uh, she stumbled a little bit. She said, well, it's on the form. It's part of what we have to do. It's part of what we have to ask, blah, 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 blah. And I said, well, if you have to ask it, you need to know why you need to ask that question. And so when people like me ask you that question on why you have it, you can actually back it up. because. Honestly, you probably don't know why. And she's like, yeah, I really don't know why we asked the question, but uh, uh, it's something in our forms that we have to do. So she was just following protocol. She used the same form that the person before her did and the same person before her did. And so I was like, look, I said, I don't have to answer that question. I'm not going to answer the question. I lined it out because that's a question that shouldn't be in there in the first place. And so uh, she said, no problem. Uh, We'll see your son in a minute, everything like that. So there wasn't a big altercation. It was just, hey, why didn't you sign this? And I told her why. I said, I don't believe in it. It's it's not the doctor's place to ask you that question. It's not her place to ask me the question or the administrative person's place to ask, ask that question. And she didn't even know why they asked the question in the first place. So like a great admin person does, they just you know follow protocol. So... What happens when you get asked this question at a pediatrician or a doctor's office or anything like that? Uh, you do not have to answer that question. You don't even have to give a response. You just say, I choose not to answer the question because I choose not to answer it. It's your right as a person. So here's why. Your doctor, your physician, your PA, anybody else that has a medical authority or is seeing you or anything like that, uh, it's not a professionally qualified firearms instructor or firearm safety person. So why they should they be asking that question in the first place? Nobody knows. Nobody seems to answer that question. Second, it's your right to own firearms. Uh, it's a civil right. Uh, it's in the Constitution of the United States of America. And there should be no reason for anybody to ask you that question. Um... Plus, a person with authority and trust, uh, that would be a doctor, uh, you you would think you'd be able to trust your doctor and give your doctor information. That is why they ask in the first place uh, that, that, that they would hold to their own. That's not true. They don't hold your information and go, oh, I'll just keep that in my pocket here and not let it go. No, they push that information forward. Uh, so uh, their position of authority, their position of trust uh, – it's really compromised at that point and you should be able to point that out to them and be like look if I'm supposed to trust you if you're in a position of authority to be trusted 
then why are you asking me intrusive questions about something that has nothing to do with my health? And uh, they go, oh, well, mental health or physical health or anything like health. There's nothing involved uh, medical-wise in the in gun ownership. Uh, so whenever you see this question pop up, uh, you can either cross it out, choose not to answer it. And if they ask that question, you, should, you know what? It's none of your business. Uh, and if they push the push the uh, question further and start asking you questions further about why, uh, just note that that if they ask you the question in the first place, there's an agenda. There's no reason for that question to be inside that questionnaire. Uh, it's part of an agenda. There is a baseline agenda someplace in there, whether they're for gun control, against gun control, ownership, whatnot. There's an agenda there. So just ignore it as if it's not there, and maybe one day it will go away. Uh, just tell the doctor or the person they need to stay in their own lane, and if they got a problem with that, take your business elsewhere. Uh, that's another thing. If you have insurance and you pay highly for that insurance, you're pr paying for a service. They're providing service that you're paying for through that insurance. Uh, if they're too intrusive, just say, hey, look, if it's a problem, I'll take my business elsewhere. And I guarantee you, they'll keep you. Uh, no, no issues there. Uh, but don't don't take your liberties lightly. Uh, if you go someplace and they ask you weird questions that aren't involved with what they actually do, uh, it's intrusive. And don't be afraid to publicly or, or openly say that, hey, that's intrusive. That's none of your business. So this is the Breakaway Homestead again. I hope uh, this didn't upset anybody. Uh, if it did, leave some comments below. I'll be sure to reply back to it. But uh, uh, that's it. I do appreciate it. You have an awesome day.